I fully believe in the union's role in our society and the freedom for them to strike. But I also believe that that should be balanced with the right of ordinary working people to go about their lives free from significant disruption. And that's why we're going to bring forward new laws in common with countries like France, Italy, Spain and others that ensure that we have minimum levels of safety. First of all, civilised European nations, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, they all have some form of minimum safety levels. Lots of other European countries have these. So when people say it's undemocratic, it is something that they have in France, they have in Italy, they have in Spain. The government's claim that its anti-strike bill is similar to laws on the continent is just complete bollocks. Some countries with minimum service levels can literally cause strikes overnight. In the UK, two weeks' notice must be given. The minimum service legislation in France has never been deployed for transport strikes, but that's set to be the case in the UK. And in France, Italy and Spain, participating in a strike does not lead to the worker being sacked. But that's what Sunat wants in his outrageous anti-strike legislation. It will allow employers to sack workers who refuse to comply with minimum service levels during industrial action. And that's not all. In France, minimum service levels are agreed through negotiations with trade unions. But the government's minimum service bill will allow the business secretary to decide statutory minimum service levels without negotiation with trade unions. So when the government says this... Some people say it's undemocratic, it is something that they have in France, they have in Italy, they have in Spain. It's talking complete bollocks. Let's be clear, with this bill, the government has declared war on the working people of this country. And it's no coincidence this comes at the very moment workers across the country are uniting and saying enough is enough. Today I'll introduce uh, minimum safety levels and service levels for key public services to make sure that we don't end up in a, a, a situation where people's lives are put at risk, while still respecting the right to withdraw labour and strike. The government says its focus on this legislation is about ensuring minimum levels of safety during strike action. But unions representing health workers never strike in the absence of agreeing minimum service provision with employers on a voluntary and mutual basis. We've actually seen striking paramedics rush from their picket lines to save a patient having a cardiac arrest. So if this legislation was just about public safety, it simply isn't needed. But what the government is doing is deliberately conflating minimum safety levels with minimum service levels in order to create confusion and con the public. This bill will significantly restrict the democratic right of workers to strike in education, transport, border security and other sectors, robbing millions of workers of their basic right to withdraw their labour. The very workers who kept the country going during the pandemic. And it allows employers to sack those who won't submit. And for any government minister to suggest lives are likely to be lost if a train doesn't run or a teacher walks out or we've got a long queue at Heathrow doesn't just insult the intelligence of the country, it's completely insane.